Okay. And we should be done with this puzzle. Of course, I gotta get back up here and I don't have any energy for it. Oh, that's fine. Uh, slow and steady climbs this hill. I guess I could build bounce pads if I was thinking about it. But I don't know. I I appreciate that the, there's kind of this like idea that there is like a world that you kind of want to keep cultivated uh, in various games and that like it kind of moves on without you. Uh, it just sucks when like every game starts to do that and you're just like, look, I don't have enough time for like all of these games. And I certainly don't like the extra crippling debt, uh, Tom Nook. Okay. So already... Oh, right, right, right. We're going around on the outside. Yeah, I used to, um... I used to screw with my dates to get Christmas money to pay off... Uh, my crippling... Uh, debt. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, you know what? We might have a solution here. Do we have a build point anywhere around up here? Damn. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that sucks. I was, uh, I've got one more teleporter saved up. If I could actually build a teleporter somewhere up high, that would save us an incredible amount of time. I guess maybe I'm supposed to use one of those, uh, those dervishes? Ugh. I guess I might actually be able to just run most of these. Nope, that wasn't it. There we go, got it. Oh, that's not what I needed to do. Okay, where's the other one? Um, I, well, screw this up. Let's see if I can hit it. There we go. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm missing a shrine here or something. I guess if we fly the other way, we'll probably get it. Unfortunately, we gotta go back. Well, actually, let's, I have an idea. Let's, um, let's go back this way for a second. Oh, you can snipe the plants in the area. I didn't even think about that. Let's go back for a second. We've got a, th we've got like a bounce pad thing that I might be able to fabricate, which seems potentially useful. And I'll start, uh, start uh, throwing tangle ports and whatnot into research. No idea if it's actually useful. Okay, I guess we'll do the hex comb and the jelly stone. Okay, cool. Oh, we have a flashlight. I think it. I think I knew about that, but I always forget. Okay, spring pad. Uh, anything else I need to do? Right. I need royal jelly and pink plorts. If I want to make any of those. Uh, I can make gordo snares, but that's not really that helpful. Let's see. We need pumps. Oh, no, I have eight pumps. Okay, and I won't be able to do any of these. Any new blueprints I can buy. Fashion remover pod. That's not really that helpful. Uh, let's see. So we've got we've got the mint mangoes, but I don't think I need to feed anything. Honestly, I think one of the last things that I'm going to do for this series is actually to replace everybody with um, mosaics, because they're just they're just too pretty. Let's see, when will I be switching to Persona? Very end of the very end of the stream tonight. JRPGs tend to never stream well, so it's a. Uh, it's one of those that I kind of hold off till, till kind of the end. That's probably going to be, uh... I, I'm gonna finish this off. I want to see everything that's, that's currently available in the game. And then, uh... Then I'm gonna switch over to State of Decay. I guess let's just stop with that. Oh! Hey! Finally! We've got the tre Treasure Cracker Mark III! Took forever to get that one. See, did the Persona f devs lift the limit on streaming it? 
They sort of did. They more or less said, like, please don't do it, but we're actually not going to... Uh, our threats are completely uh, empty. So just take this as, like, a personal request from us. Which, honestly, I think I actually would have listened to them more if they had said, like, out front from the very beginning, like, please try and, like, hide spoilers for people. But yeah, what's behind the locked doors in the desert? We're gonna go find out in a second. I gotta go get the treasure cracker. I'm grad- uh, grad. I'm glad I- holy crap, it's 25,000. That's expensive. Uh, anything else we need? No, we've- we've got the, uh, bounce pad, so I should be able to just toss that down. Okay, so let's wait. I'm gonna see if I can fly. Okay, that is actually crazy helpful. There we go. So do we have any other plants in the area that I can snipe? No, but I probably can pop between one and the other. Already got that one. Huh. I'm just gonna send globby water all the way off into the universe. Can't imagine I'm actually gonna hit any of my targets. But yeah, unfortunately I don't exactly know where they are. I assume we already got all of the plants in the immediate area that I, I need to grab. Because my thoughts are if I could stay up here and shoot, that'd be great. Okay. Expensive with 404,000 left. Well, you have to realize I cheated this money up. Uh, I, I'm totally upfront and honest about that part. I very much did not earn any of this money. Oh, did we? We got every. We got every plant that's at least conventionally reachable. Probably. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna hope for this one. Because I only have so many slime keys. I think there's two locked doors and I really don't... Uh, I really hope I don't, like, screw up and hello. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to get another, uh, port door open. Just gonna kind of flit around and see what we get. Nice part is I'm I'm missing nothing. Okay, so judging by this, this is okay. So we need some mosaic plorts. Uh, I guess honestly, it's in my best interest to go get those now. For a couple of reasons, in fact. All right, that helps. Can I, can I get up here? Yeah. I guess I could always just warp back, too. Because, yeah, chances are I've got a whole mess of mosaic plorts sitting around at home already. I guess, actually, the other thing I should probably do uh, is go back out there. We're going to go, uh, we're going to go check what the other plort type is. So I have to make as few errands as possible. Interesting that the the solar storm does not affect this area. Never mind, it does. Or maybe it's just the boom slimes coming after me. No, it does. It's just the music kind of reset weirdly. Looks like this whole place kind of sucks. No, that's just a happy slime. Okay, uh, here we, no? Hi. Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They looked like flames to me. Like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. Then again, maybe these are flames burning away. 
but at a pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps this desert has two different times overlapping one another, and we're here stuck in the middle of it. Wouldn't that just be wild? Sure. Unfortunately, with the big old red haze going on right now, it's kind of impossible for me to tell- Okay, there we go. Much nicer. I don't see much of anything useful around here. You know, it would be really nice if there was just an infinite power upgrade. I guess you could probably get into some, like, uh... Pretty nonsense stuff, but like, it, I don't know, it'd be just kind of a nice little thing at the very end of the game. It's like, congrats, you win. Here's infinite power. Let's see, what do we got down here? Uh, okay, so we need dervish. Dervish plorts are probably easier to get, honestly. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it keeps going. We've got some kind of weird ziggurat thing here, too. Well, I guess let's go check this out. This game actually reminds me a lot of Yonder, or I guess Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles reminds me a lot of this game. This game. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there are two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because of a search for the unknown is in my bones, and in time even a thousand light years from Earth wasn't enough, so I searched for secrets within the ancient runes that led me here. This place is my ticket to go even further. The runes are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door. I met Thora and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. I mean, it literally looks like both doors are... go to the same place. I... don't know. Yeah, we found the temple, and then I'm immediately gonna leave because I don't know what's in there and it worries me. However, I am going to put down my last, uh, warp tech here. Make it easier to get back. So apparently the guy chose to feed into his wanderluff, luff, his wanderlust, and and abandon his lover, wife, ish, something. That I, I wouldn't do that. But then again, I'm a homebody. Wanderlust is cool and all, but I like being able to go home and take a shower. Oh hey, treasure pod. Probably should have gotten that black treasure pod, but I'll be going back there anyway. lot to this area. This might actually be a whole different area entirely. No, oh, we didn't. Okay. It'd be kind of neat if we actually got to saw them, see them eventually. It's a shame they didn't add multiplayer to this game. Not really because it would be necessary at all, but just because it would be kind of fun to run into Bird and heckle him as we go by. Oh, we cut through here earlier. We just didn't drop down. Yeah, because here's, here's, uh... Jerk Squad. Right? Yeah, we're just back here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go get the, uh, the necessary stuff. Because I can easily just, uh, grab them whenever I want. Would have been cool if you actually, like, terraformed the whole desert with those things as opposed to being kind of more of a temporary deal. Oh well. Okay. So yeah, we've got prickle pears. 
So I've actually been drinking uh, prickly. Well, yeah, is it prick? It is prickly pear, right, Shell? The soda with the pear. The yeah, I, I've been drinking prickly pear cactus or prickly pear soda uh, lately. It's super good. I was not expecting it to be like actually really good, but then it's then it's just downright delicious. Okay, so let's drop off the par primordial oil. I feel like I should actually uh, make a pen filled entirely with plorts. I don't know if they... I assume they disappear after a certain point. I don't know how much they stack up. Uh, let's see. You still growing? Yeah. So we wanted the, the dervish plorts here. Looks like the dervishes have not been that big of a deal yet, which is good. Yeah, it looks like my frame rate's been mostly good. A little choppy here and there, but... Okay, so we don't need more of those. But we do need the... Do need these. It looks like these guys have, uh... Been feeding themselves. Okay, so do we have... Any more build points around here? Or do I have to get rid of some... Ah, here we go. Oh, that's not really where I want it to be. I guess I can use this one. Warp Tech, Green Teleporter. Which I will not be using. It's mostly there so we can make it to the final section real quick if we feel like it. I'll have to figure out what to do with a number of these things. I should probably... Uh... Yeah, okay. Um... I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, the irradiated Gordo. He is becoming a bit of a nuisance. I'm actually gonna start getting rid of a bunch of things. I assume I can't pop my own Gordos for keys. That would be OP. Super helpful, but probably OP. Let's see, what's multiplayer tonight? Actually, tonight is a solo night. Wednesdays are usually solo, uh, solo for the Botman. I think they are the, uh, the slim exception. Because usually we're doing multiplayer every night, which maybe is a bit taxing on my, my poor friends. Sometimes I feel a bit bad about that part. But tonight, tonight is solo night. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna pop the Gordos, uh, or at least start popping some of the pink Gordos. Because we really don't need them sticking around. I'll get rid of the, um... I'll get rid of the irradiated one, too. Okay. Anything up here? Nope. Yeah, if I can start getting rid of these pink Gordos, we can get a Mosaic Gordo, and a Tangled Gordo, and a Dervish Gordo, because I think I got their favorite foods. Um... Yeah, because I, I guess we'd have to get a bunch of painted hens. No, actually, we'd only have to get one. Oh. I did not realize they would explode into, uh, into slimes. That is really concerning. No! Oh, no, 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 no! God damn it, I needed those. Actually, really, I only need one. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh... Well, that's actually some, like, good stuff. Okay, well, I just get all more mosaic gordos. I probably will try, honestly. Unfortunately, there's really not much of an indicator to uh, what you've got currently equipped. It'd be nice if there's a uh, if the like little thing around it would actually like change colors, maybe. Okay, so we want master gordo snare. Okay, so I need some more spiral steam, so I gotta go put down some pumps. Well, that'll be later. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry. Uh, I look over to the left. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I pay attention to both my chats sometimes. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't know how this guy got past me, but it scared the bejesus out of me. But yeah, uh, there was just an extreme, um, there was an extreme, like, burst of, uh, of spam specifically related to, uh, go check out my new YouTube, uh, YouTube upload or something banal like that. Buzzwax. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna do... Is it utilities? Yes. Close this. Uh, silver parse now. So that should get us the thing. Oh, that was the door slime. Whoops. Guess I probably shouldn't got. I uh, shouldn't have gotten rid of him. But that's okay. I mean, honestly, freaking escapee door slime does not. Uh, should not be able to escape nearly nearly that easily. Okay, but yeah, let's explode these guys too, or start exploding them. That's the other thing. Oh, dude, it would be kind of weird and probably bad. Oh wait, no, this is this is just a demolish. Don't want to do. Uh, it'd be kind of weird and bad, but it'd be really funny. Uh. From my perspective, at least, to, uh, to overfeed every single Gordo just sitting around my base as decoration. Mostly just gross, but still. But yeah, so apparently getting these Gordos can actually get us some of the more rare resources. That might be worth, uh, putting some effort into. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just looked over to my left and it's just like... I just uploaded on YouTube and it's got like a bunch of flame and like diamond emotes and like thumbs up and it's just like you people just do not you have no sense that's okay I'm just gonna toss these guys a bunch of silver parsnips uh I could carry them with me but they're not really that helpful I don't know it just always bugs me when I see it and some some of the uh some of the spam that I get is just really uh, what would I say? Uh, desperate feeling? It's called marketing. It's not... How many of you guys subscribed to me because you saw me spamming on somebody else's channel? I can guarantee the answer is none. Okay, so we want pumps. Oh, missed one. I mean, I guess technically you could call the sheer number of videos I put out on a given day spam, but like... I mean, if that's wrong, then I don't want to do my job anymore and I'll go do other things. But isn't advertising uh, unwarranted on channels against the terms of service? Yup! No, it's a, it's a bannable offense on YouTube. I usually, actually, uh, I usually report people uh, when they do that and I have gotten... At least a couple, or at least I've contributed to getting a couple of, uh, small YouTubers banned over the years. I mean, I can't claim credit for most of it, or any of it. Or, well, I can't claim credit for that much. But, uh... Still kind of their own fault-ish. Okay, so let's go back here. I once, uh... So, I, I've mentioned probably a, at least a couple of times that... Let's see, why do I put, put the pumps out there? I don't know where I, else I'm supposed to put the pumps to get uh, the rare resources. I don't think putting them in the, in my base is helpful. Anyway, uh, so like I was saying, I, I used to spend a lot of time on the Let's Play subreddit. And for the most part, it's just purely for Let's Players learning how to, uh, how to start their channels and whatnot. And it's honestly, you know, kind of a little uh, pleasant little community for the most part. But, uh, but so, um, so one day I, I found a thread specifically from a guy who is super upset because they'd gotten banned from YouTube. And, oh, there's one of them up there. Okay, that's, 
That's amusing. I assume it's just three. I hope it's just three. I don't have more than three. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, so he was super upset because he got banned from YouTube. And everybody was, like, trying to figure out why. Because, honestly, like, getting banned from YouTube is, is one of those, um... Uh... Uh, yeah, the base no longer produces the region-specific items. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. Uh, but so everybody was trying to figure out why, because getting banned from YouTube is, like, everybody's nightmare. Oh, there it is. Uh, and so, uh, it took a little while to get the answer out of the guy, more or less. Uh, but, really, Palm Sprout. But more or less, his eventual answer was, uh, he had been spamming... Uh, he had been spamming videos on everybody else's channels, you know, Markiplier's, Game Grumps, so on and so forth. Uh, we found this out specifically because a couple of people had actually gotten comments from him, uh, very recently. Uh, and were like, hey, I actually recognize your YouTube channel name. You're that guy that was, like, leaving all the, the shitty messages on all of my videos. He's like, look, I just hired a company... Uh, to, like, give me advice on how to grow. And they said to just spam my videos everywhere, and it's like, well, there's your problem. Start a new YouTube channel. Except for, uh, after you get banned, it's a, uh, terms of service violation if you remake one, so... Poor kid, uh, was kind of screwed. But also kind of should have known better? I don't know. I'm particularly, uh, merciless when it comes to those things. I don't, I don't care. You mess up your channel, it's kind of your fault most of the time. Well, this is like something that's truly innocent, like the whole freaking Mauer copyright strikes. Like, those are bullshit, but that's a, ugh, that's a stupid can of worms. Okay, so we actually want to go this direction. What's a subreddit? Uh, if you've never been on Reddit before, a subreddit is a, uh, uh, I guess a smaller chunk of the website dedicated to a different thing. So there's some for politics, there's some for gaming, there's some for let's playing. It's like a sub forum or a. I don't know. Explaining the internet to people is not my strong suit. Let's see. What company did he go to? Why do they not know the terms of service? Well, so the thing is, um, a lot of the companies uh, that people go to to get, like, organically grow your channel, most of the time they're just spamming on Twitter or, like, a bunch of other places. Uh, very rarely have I found a. Um, a uh, company that will actually, like, holistically advertise your stuff. Uh, and even if it does, like, for the most part, you could have done it on your own. Oh, I already got this one. Balls. Generally, you could do all, all of that advertising on your own with, like, no extra effort. Um, but yeah, so most, most, uh, websites... Uh, most websites that you, like, go buy views from... Generally are uh, generally are complete scams. They exist there just to get your money, and they don't really care if you get banned afterwards because it's not their problem. They got you those views. It's just they got you very temporary views. Though I've been hearing that like uh, view botting has gotten a little bit um, more complex lately, to the point where uh, YouTube's actually having trouble detecting what's a real view and what's a fake view. So apparently, like a lot of kids' channels specifically have been. Um, have been buying views from people, like from bot services or whatever, which I don't know. It sucks, because anybody that takes advantage of YouTube is effectively stealing from everybody else's wallets. Uh, I frequently kind of hang out in a chat with a bunch of other YouTubers, and they were kind of discussing the like merits of it. I'm like, there should be no discussion of this. 